Hi, my tenacious Taurus people out there. I am Jennifer Winters, and this is my channel, Zodiac Love Tarot. Um, if you don't know much about me, I am an empath, and I'm a sixth delinium Libra. So that means that I was pretty much born to bring love to the world, and that's what I try to do. And what I also do is take my astrology um, background, which I started when I was like 12 years old learning astrology, and I put it to tarot cards, and that way I can feel your story, and before I tell your story or try to tap into your story, I try to feel your energy. So what I really want you to do right now, Taurus, is I want you to focus on what you see right now, focus on me, focus all your energy um, through, you know, your viewing screen because what happens with me is I pick up some of the strongest strongest energies out there and I got a lot of interference. So um, what I really want is to try and get you to have a really strong feeling. Um, it could be that you're um, having some difficulties or you're feeling a lot of um, love or emptiness. It could be that you're feeling a lot of pain or you could be very indecisive at this moment or you could be at an impasse. Uh, there's things that could be going on with you and you know I really need to feel that energy so that I know for sure where to go with the cards. Um, I really just you know I breathe and I start trying to feel you know, what it is that you want from me and that way that we can really connect on a cosmic level because that's what I really try and do is connect with you. Um, even if you see this video in another time or space, it's hopefully it resonates with you because when you click onto something and you see me um, talking to you, then there is some sort of purpose behind it. Um, it may seem off target now, but it will could likely be on target later. So I'm just going to breathe in and I'm going to start to try and pick up your vibrations and I want, you know, all that uh, beautiful Taurus earthly vibes coming my way. I, I really need to feel that too. I, I really like it when I'm around Taurus people because, you know, I just feel at home. I feel like they're such great people. They're such great influencers on me. Um, they, they're always very practical. They're always very solid thinking. Um, you know, they have a lot of extreme determination, which, you know, I'm, I'm actually kind of feeling that right now. I'm feeling a lot of determination from, um, you know, the group out there. I'm feeling a lot of, um, okay, it's starting to come now. I, even though there's determination, I feel that some tourists are stuck right now or they feel stuck. Um, I'm getting a lot of that energy that they just are maybe even brooding in a sense, like not really, uh, lots of good things are going on, I can tell that, but it looks like it's a good beginning or a good start after sort of like a hurricane happened or, um, and not, I'm speaking metaphorically, but like, you know, just your, your world may have been turned upside down recently. Um, maybe even over the past year, maybe you lost a relationship. Uh, maybe, um, you, you know, had to move away out of a house that you were, you know, in for a long time and it wasn't really your choice. Um, just, or a job where you got fired, something like turned your world upside down. And, you know, that could be possible. I feel that coming from you, but I also feel a lot of positivity, like you're just really, really determined to get back on your feet. Um, but in a way, uh, you don't know which direction to go in. Something is, is, is holding you back. Um, you're trying to sort of get somewhere, but you're just spinning your wheels and you don't know exactly why. Um, I don't from, you know, what I'm getting from this crowd right now is not a lot about relationship. I don't really feel like, oh, I, you know, I need a lover or I need this person to fulfill my life. It almost seems like you had that or 
but and now it's over and you're on a new chapter of your life and you feel very determined to find some new direction uh ooh, a new place to go like um you're you might even be feeling a little bit like homesick for some reason or like you just want to get out and um sort of escape and go back uh to like maybe even a former you know life for yourself and I'm also feeling right now um, a lot of um, opposition for change. And that's a little strange because, you know, from what I remember right now, for the next few years, you actually have Uranus in your, um, in your sign. So that is, you know, an awakening. It's supposed to be an awakening. It's supposed to be a spiritual wake up. It's supposed to be a time for you, Taurus, to allow yourself to change. Now, I know you don't like change. I know that that's you're notorious for holding it down and for putting your roots down. But you do. I feel like right now you do need to change. Um, you need to move past whatever it was that happened to you that turned your world upside down and find your new direction. Um, I do also feel like right now you're on a health kick, like you're you're already taking control of what you can take control of at this very moment, which is, you know, you have control over your body. You know that if you wake up every morning and you have this longing or this determination for change, um, you know that you can at least start with that. You know, you can at least be healthy with, you know, your diet. You can at least uh, start working out. Maybe, you know, um, you're on a roll right now and doing a lot better than you were before. Maybe after that really tur turbulent time, you had, you know, you gained some weight and now it's time for you to like shed it. It's time for you to let it go. And you're already on that. And, you know, you may be also coming to a point where the holidays are coming and you're hoping that you can hold on to that momentum. You're feeling like super determined. Like that's what I'm getting right now. Um, you're really focusing on yourself. You're focus focusing on uh, direction. That's what I'm getting from this. Um, so let me think, what can I do for you? I'm going to read some cards for you and... Um, I'm going to try, I, what I usually try to do is a love reading, then I'll try uh, like maybe a healing reading. Oh, when I just said healing, I really, um, I'm really feeling like uh, there's like an emotional healing that needs to happen and I'm feeling something like in my throat. Um, you know, it could be something as simple as you know, you're, you guys are out there having sore throat. Maybe it's because of the weather or something. I don't know. Or maybe you feel like, you know, you've kind of lost your voice in a way. Um, and you want to make sure that what you're saying to people is right. I don't know what it is, but I'm getting this feeling about throat when I said, you know, healing. Or it could mean, you know, to me, sometimes like when I get a feeling in my throat, it's um, about a person who needs to connect more um, to their to other people's voices, even sounds like music. Um, those things are coming. So uh, back to what I was saying before, but you know what happens is I get bombarded with these um, emotions coming through. Okay, so and then I also on back onto that is I will do like a career um, reading. So but for you, Taurus, I really feel like I need to do some kind of direction of uh, where you've been and what you're going through right now and then what the future holds for you and then so that would be three cards and then I'm going to pull another card and it's going to tell you or talk to you about um, are you is this determination going to get you where you want to be are you going to get closer to uh, feeling your true self true self again because I feel like that's what you're looking for whether that's why you maybe have some feelings of like you want to escape or either go back to um, a former a former sense of yourself like even you know a home that you had like you maybe this homesickness feeling is coming is coming out um, so let me go ahead and get you into the cards and let's see what we have okay so I'm going to move this uh oh <laughs> lost my glasses there but that's okay all right so 
Again, um, I've told some other people before that, you know, I have a different kind of deck of cards. So if you have not come to my channel yet or seen me yet, I do use um, astrology cards. And these astrology cards are a little bit different from the, you know, this deck that you would see right here. But either way, I um, can actually, you know, give you the right interpretation of these using astrology. So let me go ahead. I put a lot of energy into these cards um, while we were talking. Sometimes it just flows right in there. Other times I play with the deck a little bit. So I'm going to keep going and let me see what I feel for you, Taurus. What do I feel for you? Why are you so determined? And what happened in the past? What is going on now? And, you know, what is it? What kind of adventure are you going to go on right now? Are you going to go back to your former self? Are you going to change? And that's what, another thing, too. Right now, Taurus, the world needs you. I'm getting that message, too, because with these um, Uranus in your house right now and also in your sign, you know, it's time for you to contribute. It's time for you to contribute to us and the rest of the world. Um, you know, we really need your energy right now. We all on a cosmic level want you to grow. We want you to succeed. We want you to feel really good about yourself. We need, you know, for you to sow those seeds for us. Um, <laughs> you know, I know you're a hard worker and laborer. So, you know, let's let's uh, get some of that energy and let's find out what's going on. So this is going to be the card that is your past this one is going to be what's going on now this is going to be what kind of adventure like what what is the change that's you know coming for you or the future and then this is the card that i want uh, to see you know what happens to you what direction are you going to and then after we do this um set we're going to talk about you know some of that healing that i was wondering about like with the throat and everything because I'm getting some of that. Okay, so you and I are sitting here together and so these cards are going to be either a reverse or they're going to be, um, I'm going to move this again a little bit, or they're going to be right up for you. Okay, so the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the past. I'm really interested in this story. I want to find out what the fallout was. What turned your world upside down? What was that awakening? What was that cosmic wake-up call? Uh, let's, let's try and find out what that is. Okay. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Look at this card. So it's, um, it's actually reversed to you, and, which is not really that great. But it's Mars, if you see that right here. Um, I don't want to say it's not great. But whenever you see this card, Mars, which is also the tower, now, is that crazy or what? I told you your world was going to be turned upside down. It was. Um, there was like a super battle. Now, I'm not, you know, you saw me, you saw me, you know, take these cards and shuffle them. And this is what came up, the tower. I feel you out there, Taurus. I, you know, honestly, when I see something like this, I just want to give you a hug because I feel so bad. I know your world was turned upside down and I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, but, you know, I love you. <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let's move on because I'm going to get all emotional. Like I said, I'm an empath and ugh. okay, let's just keep moving on. All right, so what's happening now? I kind of expect to see something. Um, you know, that tells me a little bit more about this story, like what got turned upside down, what's happening now for you, what is it that, you know, you need from me right now, too. So I'm going to turn it over, and it's um, also in reverse to you, and this is the Prince of Swords, which is a mutable air, and <clears throat> it's also got a lot of energy in it from, um, astrology so here we have the Gemini symbol and this is what basically you know commute 
communication and ideas. And a lot of times that means soulmate and unconditional love and twin energy. Um, and this is also has here um, Mercury in it. And so that means too that you probably had like a lot of miscommunication with the person that you know you cared about and you guys had a big fallout. It could have been a lover, it could have been at work, it could have been a financial thing that just fell through, but something fell through because there was a lack of um communication. Um there wasn't enough, you know, uh, love going on in here. It just wasn't enough to hold things together. And also this is the Prince of Swords and it's upside down. So basically when you see swords, you think of um, that air energy and the sword being able to cut through any kind of confusion. You can cut through people who don't serve you. You can get to the point very easily with people. You find yourself on the same page. Um, and you could also use that sword, you know, um, as protection. But what happened here is this card was upside down for you. So you didn't have the love, maybe. Uh, you didn't have the communication. You weren't able to protect yourself, your heart, um, your energy. There were things going on. You might have lost your way quite a bit with this, too. Whew, oh, my goodness. I that's That's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, so I guess maybe, you know, it. I feel like it could have been a lover because right now it almost seems like you're over it in a way. You've moved past the lover and now you're worried about yourself. Like, what's going to happen here? So this is going to be the future. This is what's going to happen. This is, um, you know, <clears throat> are you going to be able to you know, come out of this, you know, aftermath and get better communication. I'm communicating with you right now. Maybe that's just what you need. You need someone to let you know that um, you're communicating right now with me. I'm feeling you. I'm feeling that you're getting to the point here. So I'm trying to help you. That's probably what you needed from me right now. So let's find out what's going on in the future. Again, the card is upside down. Okay, this is the two of wands and on here is Cetus. Now, Cetus was a battle um, that one of the people in Greek mythology had to go through and had to defeat. Um, it was actually Perseus that had to defeat Cetus. And what happened was he um, had to make a decision. He had to decide, am I going to save Andromeda? Am I going to... You know, he was a demigod, so he had to decide... Am I going to, um, you know, take a journey and find out who I truly am? And am I going to go help this, you know, city that's going to be uh, killed by the Cetus, which was like a sea creature that was uh, released by Poseidon and Hades? I know this is a background story, um, and it may not interest you very much, but what what it basically tells me is that you are going to go on a journey and you are going to be victorious because Perseus was victorious. He was able to get Medusa's head. He was able to turn the people to stone who didn't, you know, um, even after that uh, journey, he was able to use her head to turn other people to stone that didn't serve him. So you will be going on a journey. You will be victorious. Things are going to work out for you. Now, with this card being upside down, it just means that you're still unclear. You still don't know why that you're not, you're, this is that determination that you're hoping for. But, you know, also you're very resistant to change. And, and when you're resistant to change, you're not able really to go on journeys because you don't feel uh, like you're going to be able to do it. You don't feel the confidence that you once felt, maybe because, you know, you've been through this disastrous situation right here. Like, this is a lot. But trust me, you do have the power. Um, you do have the energy to move past this. You can defeat, you know, your darkest fears. And you're going to be given gifts. Perseus was given gifts along the way, you know, from um, from Zeus and some other people. The gifts were there. You just know how to use them. Use your talents, okay? That's all you need to do, all right? So now, let's see. You're already on, you know, the road to victory. You just have to get 
you know, believe in yourself. So let's see with this last card, are you going to be victorious? Oh my gosh, definitely. Because this card, even though it looks very, very, very scary, this is the Hydra, okay? And this is what Hercules uh, fought and he was able to bring people with him on this journey to battle the, the Hydra. He was able to figure out how to kill it, even though every time he cut the heads off, it just came right back. He was able to um, get people around him. Um, I can't remember exactly, you know, who he brought on with him, but it was, they outsmarted the Hydra is basically what happened. And they used every tool to their advantage to manifest everything that they needed to have happen. And so the Four of Wands is a great manifestation card. Um, it's for you. So this tells me that you're certainly definitely going to be able to get through this and battle that Hydra and outsmart. You're going to be smarter and better than you ever thought you could. You're going to definitely be able to um, go as far as you would like. Now, that feeling about homesickness, uh, you know, or, or feeling like you need to escape. You, you don't, that you, you just need to be yourself. You need to just go inward and find your strength and let that come outward. And trust me, we need you to do that for us. Okay, Taurus, you've got to get your strength back. You really do. All right. So you have to maybe battle that Hydra, but you do come out victorious. Okay. So you got a lot of victory cards here. That's wonderful. Okay, so now let's see what else. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm really happy because that does seem to really work out for you and that makes me feel a lot better. Um I hope you feel better with that too. I already kind of feel through, you know, this reading that you're starting to kind of that determination is being it's there but it's being stilled. It's being you know distilled down and calming you down and now you just kind of feel like all right I know I can do this. I and I don't need to, you know, feel like I have to, you know, conquer the whole world at once uh, to get back to where I was. But, you know, you've been through a lot. So what I'm also going to do really quick because I know this video has run really long, but that's really the message that you want that I got from you was that, you know, you had a lot going on with in the past that turned your world upside down. So I'm just going to do a really quick quick health reading about whatever that is in your throat, it it may also mean you just need to take care of it. You may need, you know, some honey or some warm tea and take a lot of vitamin C to get where you need to be. But let's, let's just see. I just want to, again, I'm really nosy. I want to find out what's going on. So I'll do that real quick. Okay, here we go. Back to the cards. All right, so for this, I'm just I just need a short story. I just need to find out what's going on with the throat. Maybe I'll get some healing cards. Uh that would be good. That would really, you know, make sense right now. And, you know, I'm going to look at the cards and see if this is something, you know, that you need that's serious uh for you. So I'm just going to pull two cards. I'm going to find out what's going on. All right. Oops. These ones are slippy or all right, so this one and this one, Seven of Swords, okay, and that's got, again, some uh, Gemini and also some uh, Mercury going on there. So this tells me that you may not be sick. It's probably more that you felt like you've lost your voice somehow, um, like no one's listening to you, like... Um, you're just not, you're not being able to get, get through to people, to your friends, to yourself. Um, you, you just feel sort of maybe alone and like no one can hear you. Um, or it could just be that like you're trying, you're being so quiet because of everything that you've been through that you're not talking to people. You're not communicating with people. You almost feel like too, that maybe, um, you've lost a lot of uh, confidence, you know, from what happened, but you can get that back. It's, I know that you can. Okay. So then let's also look at 
The next one is the Three of Cups, and this is the ship Argus. Um, basically, uh, this has a lot of uh, Cancer uh, energy in it, and it also has some Neptune energy in it, which is interesting because, you know, we talked about Poseidon, Poseidon a little bit earlier. We talked about how um, that Perseus had to defeat uh, the Cetus that was that's let loose by Poseidon, and also this ship was the ship that took Jason and the Argonauts to get the Golden Fleece. And then you also have these Three of Cups here, which have a lot to do with emotions. Um, so what this is telling me is that there's an interpersonal journey, and that you do need to look inward and you need to find your voice. You really need to go back and find it for yourself. Uh, you, you, it may seem elusive, just like, you know, when Perseus was ready to go out into, you know, on his journey, everything seemed very elusive. He didn't feel like he had a voice. He felt like he needed to earn it, like somehow he needed to prove himself and maybe that's all you need to do is go inward and then, you know, take a personal inward journey. You know, I could be wrong about, you know, just having it be inward because that escape that you were feeling, maybe if even if it's just a small place to go um, where you can turn inward, like if you go to like a botanical garden or you go on a trip um, where there's just a lot of nature and you get back in touch with nature and maybe get your hands in the dirt, you know, and because maybe that's another thing. Maybe you've been staying indoors, not using your voice. Whew, uh, I feel that kind of now too. Like even you might want to get on the water, feel the water, feel the ground, feel the dirt. I mean, you are an earth sign. So, you know, get nitty gritty with it. Go back in and that inner feeling maybe go out there and plant some trees and think about you know re reminisce about the time when you were more confident and get your voice back because that's really all you need to do um and i am so glad that you gave me the opportunity to feel what was in you because that was a good reading even for me like who i now you know i want to feel I want to have my voice come out. I want to show you how much I care because my voice, when I find it, it's always about caring for you, caring for the people um, that I'm talking through, uh, talking to through the YouTube, um, because this is my way of, you know, getting it out. And I know you have your own way too. And I know it's going to come out. I know your confidence is going to come back. Um, and I know that you're going to get, you know, really bounce back from all that trouble that happened. And I just want to say, Taurus, thank you. Thank you for sharing that with me. It feels really good. I feel like I might need to get my hands in the dirt. And I just want to say I love you, and I really think you're special, and I'm here for you. So just, you know, if you want to talk to me, just leave a message because you need to find your voice, and I'm listening, okay? All right, Taurus, that was wonderful. Thank you so, so much. All right, thank you. Peace out. <laughs>